So, this is my small calculator and uh, we will try to run it. Here we have my screen with uh, my functions and uh, yeah, it's just a start screen. To make this, I included iostream ion manip map.h and this one. I also defined pi as 3.1415 and so on. The, I had to include these libraries to make mathematical solutions. Uh, as you can see further on, I have some built-in commands that I use. Also, uh, use namespace uh, standard to make different integers and stuff. Uh, the first data type I made was a long double. Uh, we have the screen value set to 0, 0.0 .0, as you can see over here. We also have a number 1 and the number 2. Another data type I chose was char uh, user sign option. The reason why I chose long double is because it can contain a lot of value and uh, its numbers with decimals. And the reason why I chose char is because we need uh, some characters to choose the different options. E, I, plus, and such. Uh, my whole function is made inside a for loop. And uh, this for loop is always true since it had nothing in it. Uh, I added these squares because I like the look. I also added the width of 30 between the option and the calculator, as you can see up here. Because, again, because of the look. And uh, then I added all my functions, uh, or options. Clear display, convert result into integer add, subtract, and so on, just to make the user know what to do. I also added uh, the result is right here, and then the screen value as in right now 0, and then I have a width, and I don't know why, because I'm not using it, but I can delete it anytime I want to, and uh, then I show the screen value. Um, then I have to choose your option and press enter, and uh, this is right here, so the user knows, okay, now I have to choose one of these options. Uh, then I created a cin user sign option, uh, which is the char I made right before, and that means that the user can press something like a plus or whatever. And uh, then I created a boolean. Um, that I'm gonna use uh, for the integer check and then uh, I made the switch case uh, for my whole option section. The first case is E uh, capital or not and uh, it says the screen value to 0.0, .0 so it clears the screen. The next uh, I have is an I and uh, this is where we see if our result or we make the result into an integer as I also says here convert result into integer so for example now we press plus we have 44.5 and uh, we want this to be an integer we can just type i we should be able to just type i okay it's not working So if, for example, we have the 9, uh, we can uh, press um, plus 0 0.5 and we'll have 9.5. And if we want to make this to an integer, we can just press i, which uh, gives us 9 because it deletes the decimal. Uh, the next function I have was the plus. As I already showed you, I can use a plus sign to multiply or to add. Not multiply. I can use the plus sign to add, uh, and uh, I'm doing this by just pressing plus five, and it will add us to nine and it's fourteen. If, for example, the user will press plus without anything and press enter, 
the machine will tell him or her to choose a number you want and add it to the result and press enter. So I press text and then I have to And uh, right here we see the code. Come, so see out, choose a number you want to add the result and press enter. Number one plus uh, and then the screen value and screen value is here transformed into number underscore one plus screen value. The same counts for minus. For example, I can press minus five and we will have fifteen, or I can press minus enter and it would say choose a number and I'll say five and it's ten. Uh, and the uh, yeah, so it's basically the same. Uh, the only difference is that the number is before screen value since we have to minus the screen value. Since, yeah, the opposite direction. Since we have to minus with the number and not plus. Then we have to multiply sign, and again, it's the same. You can press multiply it with 5, or you can press multiply enter juice, and now we want to multiply and press 5, and you have to under 50. We also have divide, so you can divide something, and it's again the same. So you divide something by 5, and you will have 50. Um, and I, for example, if I am not a mathematical person, I might want to try to divide this with zero. Divide with zero. Okay, it's not working. Divide. And 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 then I'm like, why why isn't this working? But if you see up here, this is not a possible. This is not possible. Try again, and it's because I told this. Uh, if sentence that if number equals zero as I pressed in before, then it has to say this is not possible, try again. Else it would have to print out the correct answer in the result. And then of course I add breaks after each case so the program won't just continue and confuse everyone. The next function is the modulus. And uh, this is a bit different than the other two. For example, if we press in modulus, it says that we should uh, choose two numbers. You want to find the modulus between, and I choose 11, modulus 4. It adds modulus right away because then you don't have to. And you'll get the result is 3, which is correct. But uh, how is this? We cannot do this with. Uh, long doubles, so we have to transform them into integers. And uh, I did this by adding this code. I transformed the long double number one into new number one uh, integer, and uh, the same for number two. And the screen value is also a new screen value. And then I said that the screen value equals the new screen values. Uh, so. The, the screen value will also be 1 or an instant year. And uh, here we see the calculation screen value equals new number 1 modulus new number 2. And then we have a break. The next three things are pretty equal it's uh, cosine, sine, and tan. And uh, we use these uh, simply by pressing C. And we will take the cosine to 3. This is in uh, degrees and not radians. So if you want a radian, you can remove this and it will work in radians. But I chose to have it in degrees since I'm used to calculate with degrees. And for example, if I want to take sine of this, I can press S and I will take sine of that. And if I want to take tan of that, I can press T and I will have tan of that. And uh, now I want to clear the stage because this is a messy number, so E. Uh, so they work pretty similar and you have to remember to add the libraries, otherwise you cannot use cos, sine and tan as uh, commands. They are added because I added the libraries up here. 
Um, after this, we also have uh, square root, and again, we have to add libraries to use this thing. And uh, I simply take the square root of the c uh, screen value. So if we change the screen value to 15, uh, and then we take the root just by pressing R, we'll have the root of 15. And uh, then it breaks. Then you're done. Unless you want to take the root of that again, and you can continue or do something else. Uh, the next thing is to take the this result to the power of something, an x, a number you choose. We do this by pressing the command in, and it tells us that you have to calculate the result to the power of x, choose the number x and press enter. So we, for example, want to take it to the power of 2, and we will have the result. Um, again, we use a built-in command from one of the libraries, P O double Y, yes, to uh, the screen value number. We take two of them because the first one is this to the power of the second one. So we will get the result. The last command I added was Q for quit, and uh, this will simply uh, quit the program. Uh, why it does this is because I added again a building command exit exit success which will exit the program with success and then I have a break of code. Um, the, the default is used for for example if the user feels like I'm gonna try A then it will tell not available option up here as I wrote here and it's simply because you can't just type in random shit into the program without confusing the machine. And therefore you need to default. Yeah, uh, so this is my small calculator. Hope you liked it. Bye.